The island group of Santorini is the vacation paradise par excellence, but almost nobody knows that there is an active volcano bubbling under the earth and that more and more magma has been accumulating in its chambers recently. Researchers have now published the latest findings about the volcano beneath the vacation paradise, and if you want to know whether the archipelago will soon blow up, then make sure you stay tuned until the end. Welcome, friends. A magma monster under the Mediterranean, hardly anyone knows anything about it, and to change that, let's try to get 500 likes for this video, because then the algorithm will show it to more people. Santorini, a place of longing par excellence, white houses with blue roofs, a glittering Mediterranean, bright sunshine, and delicious Greek food. What else do you need to feel good? Pizza with feta, hmm, delicious. By the way, please let me know if you've ever been to Santorini or anywhere else in Greece, and if so, what you thought of it. Write me your best vacation stories in the comments. The vacation idyll is a bit deceptive, because there is a lot going on underneath the beautiful island, and almost nobody knows about it. For those who only had Mallorca, or like me, Sicily, on their bucket list, let's take a short vacation trip to the Greek archipelago before we take care of the bubbling magma danger. I've always been good at prioritizing. Santorini is an archipelago in the southern Aegean Sea that belongs to the Greek Cyclades group of islands. It is located around 200 kilometers southeast of the Greek mainland, and the main island, which is often referred to as Santorini, is actually called Thera, while Santorini is the name of the entire archipelago, and this consists of several individual islands. These islands are arranged in a ring and form the edge of a mighty caldera in the center of which lie the small islands of Palea Kameni and Nea Kamen. In this aerial photo, for example, you can clearly see the caldera, so Santorini cannot deny its volcanic origins. You can clearly see that the archipelago is the result of volcanic activity that has shaped this area over millions of years. Millions of years ago, there was initial movement at the edges of the tectonic plates, which caused the so-called Cyclades Massif to collapse and be flooded by the sea. In addition, the African plates slid under the European plate, melting crustal material and creating a volcanic island arc, the so-called Cycladic Arc. Santorini got its present form from a catastrophic volcanic eruption in the 16th century BC. This eruption is also known as the Minoan eruption. It is considered one of the most spectacular eruptions in the entire history of mankind and led to the collapse of the original islands. This devastating catastrophe caused the emptied magma chamber to collapse, creating the caldera which we can see here again from the aerial view and which is partly below sea level. The Minoan eruption had a devastating impact on the surrounding area, and probably even on civilization, as it is assumed that the Minoan culture on Crete fell victim to this eruption. In any case, the fact is that the people of that time could not have been spared. The eruption caused tsunamis and rains of ash that destroyed large areas around Santorini. The ash clouds could even have led to climatic changes that had a massive impact on agriculture in the region. Some researchers even speculate whether the Minoan eruption could have given rise to the legend of Atlantis, but this has not really been proven. In any case, the Carrera is a spectacular 12 kilometers in diameter, and the the cliffs of the caldera are characterized by various layers of volcanic deposits. So I think that alone makes Santorini worth a trip, don't you? But brace yourselves! The volcanic activity on the island is still there. There is geothermal activity with hot springs and sulfur deposits, which indicate that the volcano is far from extinct. Historical writings prove that the last eruption was not so long ago. There is said to have been a huge eruption in 1726 AD, and geologists have now been able to find out more about this eruption thanks to new sediment drilling. According to this, the eruption probably took place underwater and was much stronger than previously thought. For this reason, it is now cautiously assumed that the volcano is even more dangerous than previously thought. So what's going on? Does this mean that Santorini can pack up as a vacation destination? That tourists will soon be eating feta and tarama? Let's take a closer look at the researchers' findings, which have now been published in the journal Nature Geoscience. First of all, Santorini is one of the best studied volcanic systems in the world. Jonas Pryan from the University of Hamburg and first author of the study explains, Like other large volcanic systems, Santorini goes through so-called caldera cycles. After a very large eruption, the new cycle begins with small but frequent eruptions, while the volcanic system slowly fills up with magma again. 
He also explains that over time, the eruptions can then become larger again but less frequent before the system is ready to produce another gigantic eruption. Typically, these cycles last around 10,000 years and we now know that Santorini is again in the phase where magma is accumulating but the volcano has not quite reached the eruption phase. But before you run off and book your plane tickets, wait and see because the researchers have discovered something else amazing. I just mentioned the last eruption from the Middle Ages and Preen and his team have re examined this eruption on site with seismic reflection data and data from drilling in the sediments and the findings are astonishing and should give you a little food for thought as to whether you really want to spend your next summer vacation on Santorini. Until now it was assumed that no major explosive eruptions would take place but the new study by Prain and his colleagues now calls this hypothesis into question. The researchers report our analysis shows the deposition of a submarine explosive eruption that produced up to 3.1 cubic kilometers of pumice and ash. Even today, layers of pumice and ash up to 40 meters thick can be detected in the marine sediment, which fits perfectly with the reports of the medieval eruption. On land, however, there are hardly any deposits indicating that the eruption took place underwater and caused the seawater to boil. In addition, the data also indicate that the eruption was much stronger than previously thought. It is now thought to have an incredible explosivity index of magnitude 5, which exceeds anything previously thought. Even the eruption of Ea Ea Fiala, Ea Fiala Yukuls or something like that, only reached a magnitude 4 in the index and you can probably remember what that eruption did back then. The realization that the Santorini eruption was so much stronger than previously thought is hugely important for today's hazard assessment. The researchers say that the hazard potential for the eastern Mediterranean region must therefore be increased. If another eruption were to occur today, it would have devastating consequences for the region. Underwater explosions could trigger tsunamis, pumice debris and ash clouds would have a considerable impact on the coast and aviation, maritime traffic and submarine cables could also suffer enormous damage and in the worst case, communications could be completely disrupted. You will surely remember the eruption of the Hunga Tonga volcano in the South Pacific in 2022. I think the pictures speak for themselves and clearly show what massive forces of nature we are dealing with when it comes to underwater volcanoes. Now imagine that in the vacation paradise of the Mediterranean. So it's a good thing that the researchers drilled around again on site because this example shows once again how important such research into volcanoes is and that we can by no means consider ourselves to be on the safe side for all time. Prane says himself, if we were unaware of the deposits of such a large eruption from a volcano as well studied as Santorini, we must assume that our global eruption records have a significant blind spot for submarine explosive eruptions. So it would be better to upgrade a little here in future, but what does that mean for us now? Better to leave our swimming trunks in the cupboard and fly to Iceland instead of Greece? Oh no, there was something else. The researchers say that although the strength of the eruption was a big unknown and also raises questions about what other underwater volcanoes are like, an eruption like in the Middle Ages is not very likely, at least not in the near future. Nevertheless, the researchers recommend increasing the focus on the region and reducing the danger by means of better developed early warning systems and digging the global eruption records out of the archives again and focusing on the submarine volcanoes. If something comes up, I will of course keep you up to date immediately, but that's only possible if you follow my channel. Subscribing is absolutely free, you'll never miss another galactic video and will help me immensely. So whether you're relaxing in Greece or sitting at home, make sure you press the subscribe button and activate the bell. And by the way, not only have magma chambers been discovered under the earth, but scientists have also discovered a gigantic megastructure within our planet. Absolutely crazy story and if you want to find out all about it, then click on the video at the top right. It's really super exciting. And if you want to support my work, visit my astro store and get yourself some real meteorites or cute plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.